What's up? Alex O Crypto here. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the Outer Gang. Thank you guys so much. And what do we got coming up? Well, guess what? Guess what's in the building? And that is inflation rate. Okay, we are about to, in less than an hour and a half, we are going to get a print on this beautiful inflation rate. Okay, they are calling for 4%. We are calling for for the core inflation to come in at 5%. If it comes lower, will we get a pump? I thinking, I thinking, I'm thinking that we might. True inflation is at 2.5%, okay? It has crept up a little bit over the past couple days, but it was down that 2.29. Now it's up at 2.5, but we are looking for a good reading today. Can this be bullish news? Can Bitcoin finally break out of this range well this is what we're looking at just a quick update to keep you guys informed and hopefully help you guys trade this now we have had a slight push upwards okay a little bit of a push upwards but we still are failing to get about above this area that we've been talking about at this fibonacci golden pocket and this beautiful 786 level around 31,000 down to 30,800. Now we're knocking on the door yet again, and if we simply pull a volume tool across here, we can see that we've pushed this point of control higher, but but we have a lot, a lot of room to the upside, okay? If we do get this bullish news, we could break through. Now we're gonna talk about where we're gonna stop, um, where possible entries for a short position if we pump, where are possible entries if we do a zigzag typical pattern that typically happens on all of these beautiful news events where price will go, let's say, one way, and then all of a sudden it will change and it will liquidate all those people and then it will go the actual way, okay? So there's always one, two, and then three being the final move. I've noticed this throughout history that we always get a fake out to the upside or the downside and then an actual intended move. So could it look where we are creating room now to have something like this happen? Well, let's prepare for anything. This is a news event. We need to be prepared. Now, what are the levels I'm looking? Obviously, I'm looking at this lower range here around 30,000. And obviously, we're looking at 31.5 as it is the all-time high for this year. So where else am I looking? So if I simply pull up this group, this tools, we can see we have this one labeled, we have this one labeled. Let's zoom out a little bit and take a better look at this. Now, what do we have here? We have a couple levels to the downside, which is our value area high of the previous range. So in, if we do get bearish news where price wants to dump, it could be even bullish news where price decides to dump. We'll be looking for it to come down, retest, and continue downwards. Or we look for it to fake out to the upside, grab that liquidity, and send it downwards to this level at 29,500, okay? We'll be preparing for that at this level at 29,500. And if we do fall lower, we're obviously aiming for the point of control around 28,000, okay? Those are my areas to the downside in the upcoming future, in these next couple of days slash maybe even a couple hours, okay? Volatility is to be expected. Why? Because guess what? The dollar is setting up for something. It has been dumping. Does this mean we're gonna get that retracement? You know, you can see here it's making lower highs and a lower low just came in. Can it come back up, which would mean the price is going to drop for Bitcoin? Or can this be so bullish that price continues to challenge this 100 level? Well, let's prepare accordingly, okay? So where are we going to pump to? Let's go back over to this. Let's get this group off and let's look at our bullish weekly. We'll get rid of these price levels too to keep this beautifully, beautifully organized for you, my friends. And what do we got here? Let's zoom out just a little bit more. And we have a couple levels to the upside, okay? Now, my first level, once and if we do crack that 31,500 all-time high for this year, I'm looking at 32,500 initially, okay? We have a couple stops along the way of volume, but my major, major golden pocket last volume area is that 35,600, 500-ish area, okay? We need to push up. Once we get above this, eventually we'll get above this, right? Where we look to make higher highs, there's not a lot of volume in this area, okay? So we're gonna look to push to the next volume level, which would be around 
35,000. Okay. Very crazy to think we were at 15,000 not too long ago, right? So very, very key levels. So let's prepare for these levels, add them to your charts and be prepared to trade. Okay. My friends, much love to every single one of you. Make sure to always like and subscribe and join us in the free Discord. Link is in the description below and we'll take a quick look right now at Market Cipher. Now, one thing I noticed on the 12 hour, we are pushing up. Money flow is in the green, okay? I'm gonna go back to the daily just to double check something. Okay, yes, we had some sort of bear div here, but never mind that. Let's go into the four hour. And what I noticed on the four hour is that we are becoming very overbought, okay? We are coming up right now. And you can see on the momentum wave, we are becoming overbought. And can we curl over? So let's look for an indication, maybe a red dot in the next distant future, or let's look for the VWAP to bounce off this zero line for a continuation upwards, okay? It doesn't mean we can't continue this beautiful momentum wave higher and keep pushing up, okay? So very, very cautious right now. In the next two hours, you can see we're getting a possible red dot on the two hour and on the one hour is a red dot curling over. So this could curl over in the next couple hours on the one hour and then we look for that green dot to push us up to higher prices, okay? So make sure you go through, you add these two charts. Sometimes with these news events, just sit on your hands. I'll be sitting on my hands. Actually, I'm going to bed shortly. I just wanted to make sure that I got you guys this video before I hit the hay and go to work tomorrow. So much love to every single one of you. Subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate that. Much love, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.